Hi, I'm Sean Bedlam. Since the Occupy Melbourne movement started, I've been arrested, I don't know, maybe three times. I've been picked up, thrown to the ground, and dragged away by police three times, I think. I've been locked up once, refused to sign bail conditions once. I've had the magistrate support me in that action and let me out, saving me a weekend locked up inside. It's been a huge adventure, really. On several occasions I've uh, been part of the occupiers who evacuate or partially evacuate an occupation to stay ahead of the police and then help to set up tents again. I've taken part in many meetings, debriefings after what I call fail raids by the police who have discussed how well it went and what to do next time. I've taken part in many meetings that have happened just after we've been warned that police are coming and we've organised ourselves, decided what we're going to do when the police come. These meetings get better and better, we get better organised, our plans get smarter and kind of funnier and uh, we're not even a month and a half into the piece. We're doing incredibly well. The parking guy bump India. Yeah. Yeah, good on him. What if we have a scumbag that can't get many here with him? Did you get hit on Friday? Yeah, Friday I got pushed up on the hood of the beamer. Jeez, who, I arrested you. Who by? I'll see if he's here. What, one of the council dudes? One of the council dudes. Jesus. Oh, he's a prick. How come the council guys aren't the ones who are behaving? <laughs> that's odd. Oh, that's right, because police are actually trained. Council guys don't know what they're doing. Five or six council officers, and they're surrounding Hello. some cardboard boxes and a mattress. Oh, going, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, please be careful if you intend to pick this up because we don't want you to have any occupational health and safety issues. It's terrible for you to have to claim they might then cut your compensation later. Your face is under arrest. <laughs> Who are you supposed to serve? Who are you supposed to protect? The crown, dude, the crown. Who do you serve? Who do you protect? Come on. Serious questions. Serious questions. We all want to know. Who How you going, mate? Ah, Fifi McStolen truck. That's what we came to see. Oh, sweet, you're getting rid of what we need you to get rid of. Beautiful. They put a tarp over the truck so we can't simply throw our rubbish into the truck. It is humorous. Hey, Caleb. Hey, baby. How you going, man? What's happening, dude? <laughs> Fucking, it's all good, mate. It's all good. Oh, it's the fucking cops again. 